So if you have one child uh, at $10 an hour, how many hours would you have to work? Uh, approximately 50 hours. 50 hours? 50 okay. hours per week, yes. Okay, thank you. So uh, just, just to uh, make, make it clear, uh, the phase out for this program for the single parent is $200,000 of income, right? Uh, yes, that's correct. Okay, so can you just tell me the range of, of taxpayers, I mean earnings, not taxpayers, they're all, they're all working under these examples, but a mom with two kids, what is the, uh, what's the, the, the minimum, what, what is the range of taxpayers and earnings, uh, you know, bottom to top that they, at 15%, would they receive the maximum credit? Okay, Bert. Ms. Moore, as you, as you noted, uh, any taxpayer with, uh, as long as you have earned income, uh, earned income up to 200,000, you can achieve the max, uh, you can achieve the maximum. The, the point no, but you, you wouldn't making, have to be working 70 hours a week. Not, not, if, not if you were earning, uh, not if you were earning substantially above, uh, you know, you know, fifty thousand uh, dollars. Right, right. I mean, because you could you could be a consultant or something and work. Thank you so very much, Mr. Chairman. I move to strike the last word. I just want to thank uh, the chairman and this committee for this markup. But I I do have to say that I think that marking this bill up, these bills up today, is a missed opportunity on both the individual and the corporate side. You've heard many of my colleagues talk. Uh, today about the $600 billion plus dollars that, that we are going to lock in for corporations, but yet leave millions of children languishing in poverty. You know, I've heard many people say that, uh, that the improvements in the child tax credit is something that we ought to just be happy with um, because it will, in fact, provide at least 400,000 kids uh, 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 will move them uh, out of poverty. But it's ex unacceptable to me that we are leaving millions more uh, in poverty. I'm so proud that what we did with the child tax credit, the refundability portion, lifted 40% of children in this country out of poverty. You know, and the Republicans' notion that somehow there's a moral hazard in providing a refundable tax credit is unsubstantiated by people who do research. This is not a disincentive to work. And if you heard the dialogue that I had with the Joint uh, Committee on Taxation, uh, that no matter how hard a woman works, say she works, she's got two kids, no matter how hard she works, she'd have to work 70 hours a week under current law, and over 40 hours a week in order to access the maximum credit. And so this is, this is, you know, this is not supposed to be a work program. It's supposed to recognize the expensive cost of raising kids and wanting them to have the proper development, health and education and employment. That is what is a fact. It's a fact that children are better off with, the, with, with some support. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> and I absolutely support Ms. Del Benny's amendment. I'm speaking on behalf of mothers, grandmothers, and for myself as a great grandmother, um, who says that it is totally unfair and it is actually, it's sort of immoral to leave out the neediest, poorest children uh, from being able to benefit from living in the richest country in the world uh, and to, to be poor. You know, <clears throat> this act, even with the amended changes, uh, discriminates against women who for many reasons are, are, do not work. Did you know that 20% of the kids in this country are disabled? What if a mom has to stay home because her kids are disabled? She will not benefit from, this, from these provisions. 
What about that grandmother who rescues her grandchildren from a, an untenable situation? Maybe their daughter or their son is, is on drugs or in prison. That grandma won't get a dime uh, with these new uh, provisions. Um, and <clears throat> it's not fully refundable. So while we are providing some benefit to some families, I would say that at least two million kids uh, and probably millions more will be left out. You know, Ms. Sewell has spoken about her district and, and I know that she and uh, Ms. Miller uh, are from states, West Virginia and from Alabama, where the child poverty rate is 23%. So I think that there'll be more children from these districts and these areas who will not get uh, any money. Um, it um, um, it ex excludes, again, the poorest people. Foster parents, I mean, if you, if your child ends up in a foster home because you can't take care of them for whatever reason, we will provide money to those foster parents, the CTC to them, thank God. But you have to lose your kids in order for your children to get the benefit. That's just <laughs> unconscionable. And since 85% of child removals are due to poverty, not because of any other sort of abuse, poverty, we are, you know, poverty is the main reason that they are, they are taken from their, their mothers. Uh, we are incentivizing child removals so that the kids can eat. You know, and the other problem with this bill is that it locks in a, this limited uh, child tax credit for three years, making this compromise agreement go on uh, for longer than it should. We should change it today, immediately. Um, and of course, as I mentioned, it locks in $600 billion of permanent tax cuts for corporations. 55% of these corporations which pay no taxes at all, just like the women and grandmothers who are gonna be denied the child tax credit who have no tax liability, except that they won't get the benefit of our tax code. I know that Democrats and Republicans have all talked about how much they care about children, how much they love children, how much they want to raise up a healthy workforce. All of us care about children. Well, now it's time to prove that, y'all. Here we are. Here we are with this amendment before us, which gives us an opportunity to demonstrate that even if your parent is poor, baby, we are not going to let you starve. And I would yield back the balance of my time.